Terraformers from 2016 is another Takeshi Miike mental film. A big, brash, action, blockbuster type of thing that's incredibly silly but remarkably fun as well. I kind of enjoyed Terraformers uh, for what it is. It's all about a future um, Japan in 2599 where they have tried to terraform Mars. They've sent up moss and cockroaches because that's the best way to kind of kickstart it. And of course there are side effects. There are, there are some cockroaches up there that they need to kill before they can make it livable just to get rid of the bugs because they're icky. So they're sending up a team of no hopers criminals whose choices were death or this mission to travel to Mars to wipe out cockroaches. All of them have taken that mission to Mars. So they get there, they land, they're looking around the territory only to discover that the cockroaches have turned into seven foot tall human like creatures that are abundant and looking for just sheer violence and fighting and destruction and action set piece after action set piece. Uh, and that's fun. That's incredibly exciting and, and, and silly and kind of Mickey daft that I enjoy. And I'm kind of wondering where is the movie going to go from here? How are our heroes going to survive against these insurmountable odds when the movie surprises me even more by telling us that the, our ragtag team of criminals have been spliced with insect DNA. And if they take this injection, they kind of mutate into uh, the insect of choice where they have super fighting abilities to fight back against these gigantic cockroaches. Yep, incredibly silly. Looks incredibly silly. But my goodness, it was rather entertaining. I loved the little blurbs as each person turned into an insect about what the insect was, what the kind of abilities they have, and then we get to see them in action. Of course, there's double crosses, triple crosses, quadruple crosses. There are points where I just gave up trying to follow who was double crossing whom because I just didn't care and I wanted to see more of the cockroach killing action. And there's a rather unique way to get about some of the violence in this one where they make the cockroach blood white which means they can have gallons of the stuff. And they do so throughout the movie. Cockroaches are decimated left, right and centre. We have our heroes who are turning in to various insect warriors to fight these creatures, trying to figure out why uh, they've evolved so much and then trying to deal with the constant um, attack of these things. And it's just so gobsmacking silly that you're just surprised every time it goes further and further. At one moment, they're on a buggy that's going to travel from one spacecraft to another, and one of the insect guys climbs on top of it and uses his fire breath as propulsion to push this cart along at a top speed, which is ridiculous and, and silly and fun, and you're like, wow, they, they can't really get much crazier than that, can they? Well, yes, they can, because they introduce a wave of cockroach monster guys to barrage through. Crazy stuff. And if that's not enough, they then get to a even bigger second wave of cockroach men to travel through. It is so obnoxiously loud and colourful and in your face that you can't help but just sit back and laugh at the nonsensical craziness that's going on in front of you. Based off an anime, it certainly feels that way. It certainly feels absolutely mental and it straddles that fine line of Mickey where it's both uniquely weird but highly entertaining and it doesn't suffer the Mickey dip in the middle. In fact, it's 109 minutes it's just probably about the perfect length. It has some tropey aspects with double crosses, with uh, people discovering why they're there. It's got some ham-fisted emotional content with the backstories of how these people all ended up in this tragically sad situation. But, my goodness, there is destruction, there is action, it's wonderfully shot, there's some good CG, 
there's some not so good CG, which I expect with Miki a lot of the times, but do you know what? I like this one. It was a fun blockbuster ride, one of those popcorn movies where you can just sit back um, and every now and again burst into fits of laughter with the sheer lunacy that you're seeing on screen. <laughs> Highly entertaining. I wanted to see this one for a while. I can finally cross it off the list. I'd love to know your thoughts of Terraformers if you've seen it. Let me know in the comment box. We'll have a little discussion about this one. And Miki in general, who's a really interesting uh, director. As always, there's more content up here. If you've got a brief second, click that like button. And if you really want to support me, join the membership program or the Patreon program. And I can't stress how much that is really keeping the channel running at the moment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.